3.14 day. Pi, pi day. day. Pi day. Not, no, yeah. no, 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 not, not P-I-E day. This is P-I day. You know, back in school, you, you have it in your notes, I think. Right, actually. right. 3.14159265359 and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the actual pi day, like the, the pi you eat back on January 23rd. Okay, so, all right. So like today's a mathematical yeah. pi day. Uh, good stuff, though, because there's a lot of things that you can use for pi. We went beyond the headline to talk more about how that number makes the world go around. I mean, literally, how else would you find the Earth's circumference? Pi has been around for thousands of years. The earliest use of a pi-like number dates back to the ancient Babylonians and Egyptians. But it's math whiz Archimedes of Syracuse who is credited with Pi's first calculation sometime in the 3rd century BCE. Since then, Pi's utility has only grown. You probably don't realize it, but there's a slice of pie and lots of things we encounter every single day. While some of us one-time geometry students barely remember using pi to find a circle's area, the number is incorporated into so many things. Find the closest electrical wire. When that wire was made, engineers and electricians used pi to calculate how much power runs through it. Pies in sports. How else would you find out how much air it takes to properly inflate a football? It's used in lots of formulas to predict atmospheric conditions, aiding in the forecast I bring you every day. The list of ways we use pi is almost as infinite as the number of digits in its sequence. Speaking of, you may remember trying to memorize as many pi digits as you could in school, but you don't need to use that many numbers for accurate calculations. Even rocket scientists at NASA round pi off to 15 decimal places while computing interplanet trajectories. 